What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So in Tuesday's video, I said I was getting a new piece of equipment. And more specifically, I said I was going to get something that's going to go on right there. So it was a new piece of hand equipment. So I'm going to jump right in and show you guys what I got. But before I show you, I need to do a little disclaimer on what it is. So first of all, before y'all see what it is, you need to not make fun of me for it. For what exactly it is. And just know that I bought this for you guys. What I mean by that is I'm going to absolutely torture test this. And we're just going to see if it'll hold up to commercial use. So before I confuse y'all too, too much, let me go ahead and reveal what it is and then I'll do a little bit more explaining. So our new piece of equipment is a trimmer, more specifically a Hyper Tough two cycle weed eater. Yes, I bought a Hyper Tough gas powered string trimmer. It is a straight shaft and it is a two cycle. Now hold on on your comments, hear me out. Let's go over a few things before you guys start making fun of me for this. First of all, I bought it just to test it, trying out cheap trimmers. This is a straight shaft trimmer. I paid $110 for it out the door, and that's with a three year warranty. It was $98 and then a 12 year for $12, it was a three year warranty. For those of you that don't know what HyperTuff is, it is a Walmart brand, or I should say it's like Walmart's generic brand. If you guys go into Walmart, you'll see that they have all kinds of HyperTuff tools, HyperTuff toolboxes, almost everything HyperTuff, and that's just Walmart's generic brand, kind of like a great value brand, I guess. I do the review of this, you'll actually have more information on it, or I'll be able to share more information on HyperTuff hyper tough where it's made who makes it where it all comes from and stuff like that so stay tuned for more of a backstory on the brand name of hyper tough in later videos so let's jump back into it now sure that's a residential trimmer residential warranty but they didn't say anything about commercial and not being commercial use and being voided and as far as anyone knows i'm just gonna take it back and be like hey uh this trimmer doesn't work so just going over the specs it is a 26 cc engine which is in fact bigger than my echo trimmers you know these are the srm and the pas 225 trimmers so it has a bigger motor on it than the echo it also has a one inch bigger cutting swath with the guard on than the echo does i believe the echo is only 16 or 17 actually it says it has easy load bump feed on it too so we're going to give that a try but we will probably replace it with a speed feed head which i think you guys are really going to like the speed feed head that we're going to replace it with you guys see it does come standard with a two year limited warranty, but I bought the three year extra warranty. Now again, you guys can go back to my roots and look in the beginning of my YouTube career and you guys will see that I started on a very budget setup. You know, I had the Troy Belt walk behind, put it up in the bed of my truck. I had a Pollen Pro leaf blower and I actually had an Echo Curve Shaft residential trimmer. So we're going to give this one a try just for shits and giggles and see how it does. Now I did also buy an hour meter for it. I am gonna put an hour meter on it because I wanna keep track of how much time do I really put on this trimmer. So if you guys go back to my videos from last year, I did a really large apartment complex and it was four and a half to five and a half hours of string trimming every time I went there. I no longer do that place, but I picked up three other apartment complexes, not as big, but there still is a lot of trimming. One of them is two hours, Another one is two hours and another one is about an hour of trimming. So that's at least five hours of trimming in one day that it's going to get put on it. As well as all of my other customers that I'm going to be trimming with. But again, I just wanted to put the hour meter on it to keep track of how many hours I put on it. Just to see, you know, how long will it really last? Will it hold up? I'm really excited about trying this out. And yes, this is a Walmart brand, probably Chinese made, which you guys are going to see the unboxing of it and first setup and first start and first use in a later video. But I'm going to do my research. I'm going to find out where parts are made, where this whole trimmer is made, where do I get parts at. In my opinion, it's just a rebranded trimmer but we'll find out so you guys try not to make fun of me too bad like i said in the comments for it i'm very excited i do want to know y'all's opinion on it if you've had experience with it comment it below if you're excited about it or if you have a specific test you want to see me do with it put it in the comments below comment below your best guess as to well you, how well you think this will hold up for me and how well do you think this will perform for me do you think it's going to work great for me or do you think it's going to be a bust i'm going to use it, it might work for the first job or two but after a couple of hours of use, do you think it's going to crap out on me? Comment below. I want to hear it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.